We focus on silicone rubber because it solves a myriad of problems, a myriad of challenges. It's a challenge, in fact, to advise customers of what all we do. We often have to wait till a customer's in trouble. And so they basically come in, that's where we can really take care of them. Hi, I'm Bill Stockwell, president of Stockwell Elastomerics. Our core competence is the molding and fabricating of silicon rubber and other high-performance elastomers. Almost entirely gaskets, so we provide some cushioning pads as well. Uh, and not only just silicone rubber, but also electrically conductive silicone and thermally conductive silicone that enhance properties beyond just the sealing capability. So we're actually doing molding and die cutting and water jet cutting. I don't know of any other mid-sized gasket manufacturer that does both molding and also die cutting. Customers seldom know what they want. In fact, the brightest engineers that we meet that have gone to the best engineering schools in the country have seldom ever designed a gasket. And so we have two applications engineers that are full-time, plus two other manufacturing engineers that assist customers through the design activity. And what we call the design activity is not only speaking on the phone or by email, but also participating in sending samples that are water jet cut or flash cut. We have a guarantee, in fact, get to us with a DXF file by 10.30 in the morning. We'll be shipping that night by FedEx. It sounds simple, but one of our biggest capabilities is uh, an adhesive backing capability onto silicone rubber. You just can't stick an adhesive on silicone and have it stick without a priming solution. So we have four different primers we've developed. An example of that would be this high-performance 3M acrylic adhesive on this silicone sponge product, which enables you to make a corner with it. So a design engineer doesn't have to buy the entire gasket. He can make his own gasket with a strip. Other ways we skin the cat is we have film-supported high-temperature silicone adhesive. This particular adhesive has a polyamide film that takes up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. We have several different ways to go about solving EMI shielding issues. One is to take a product like a flat silicone sponge material and bond a Monel mesh around the outside or inboard side. They have a compressible gasket, it's a mil-spec grade, and they can both shield and seal effectively. Another way to solve the problem, this is one of my favorites in fact, this is a nickel graphite silicone uh, product, 65 durometer Shure. We compression mold this part. We're molding this for a uh, high profile defense company. We're proud of this one. We also have capability of water jet cutting, die cutting, and putting adhesive backing on very thin, flat EMI shielding materials. This happens to be a nickel graphite filled silicone, happens to have a conductive fabric reinforcement, so it has ruggedization capabilities. These are actually silver plated aluminum filled fluorosilicon materials for uh, fuel resistance, mill spec rated. This happens to be closed cell silicone sponge. It's a very soft material, very stretchy material, also a very high dielectric, meaning the volume resistivity of closed cell silicone sponge is 10 to the 14th. Well, what's the issue with that? This would actually build up quite a static potential. We have developed technology to take carbon-filled conductive silicone, we break it down into a very thin solvent, and it's not really a coating, it actually soaks through. So we call it a surface impregnation. So what the customer receives is a closed cell silicone sponge part like this with total ESD protection all the way around. So there's no fear of any kind of a static buildup or a charge. We actually have uh, four water jet cutters. What we learned is the engineers preferred that cut because with a very thick sponge material like this, if we were to try to die cut this, you would have a pretty severe edge concavity or hourglass. So if you have a environmental chamber that has a hole that requires uh, spare parts, instead of just stuffing a rag in it, buy an e-plug. We have these in standard sizes, also custom shapes. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.